everyone, my name is of course John Doe, and we're going to do another edition of the Da 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 Doe Slater's Report, right here in Tokyo, Japan. Now, recently, a woman by the name of Magumi Igarashi, I believe I'm pronouncing her name correctly, has gotten a bit of trouble. She was arrested for violating the archaic Japanese obscenity laws, which prevent the open display of genitalia both female and male. Now what does she actually do? Well she's an artist and she wanted to break down taboos regarding female genitalia and female sexuality. So she 3D scanned her own vagina to go into a uh, 20 different uh, art pieces. One including a kayak which is in the shape of her own vagina which she actually uh, used to sail down a river. Now this she was arrested for this and everything, which are completely ridiculous. She's not producing pornographic images at all. It's not the point. It's an art project, it's a social awareness type of project. You know. Um, so, what I find very, very strange about this whole thing is that tentacle rape porn. Okay. A woman uh, 3D scanning her own vagina to uh, break down walls and taboos, and hopefully increase women's rights and increase the quality of life for women in Japan? Bad. Obscene. And this has been a lot of outrage over this actually. There's a petition going around, which I'm not going to bother signing because we know how effective petitions are, but it does show just how strong this whole um, patriarchy is in Japan. Where when something sexual comes out that is geared towards um, the pleasure or joy of men, that's no problem. But when something sexual is produced that's for a social cause, or something sexual that is produced to uh, promote the idea of gender equality, that's a big damn issue. Now, the people who are so outraged by this are really just being reactionary. They're not really thinking this through. They're not really looking at it from the actual intent of it. They're saying, oh my god, I, I didn't tell you, oh, oh, vagina, oh, oh, it's so scary. You're terrified of vaginas? Are you literally, literally that fearful of open expression of sexuality in a non-for-profit manner? I mean, she's probably making a little bit of money selling the pieces, but it's obviously not her point to get rich off this. You're outraged by this. You're outraged by the fact that someone is using sexuality not to make money, but actually try to change society for the better. I'm sorry, but you should be ashamed of yourself. But of course you won't be. Now, will she be able to get released from this charge? Well, this, this depends on a multitude of things. But clearly she's not in violation of any vicinity laws here. You know, this law is too rigid. It does not take into consideration these things. So I thought I'd just make a quick video about this, bring this up because it's a kind of a big issue in Japan right now. If this is the first time you see me, hey, clickety click y'all, alright? Check out the videos, lots of good stuff here. So until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo, checking out.